Brisket Medic here, and this weekend we are doing another virtual cook-off. This week we're doing brisket, and I am called the Brisket Medic for a reason. I am on duty today. I did cover up the agency name because, well, let's face it, they probably don't want to be associated with me any more than they have to. And this morning I've got the fire rolling. Last night I trimmed up the brisket as best as I could with some dull freaking knife that we have here at the station. And uh, rubbed it down with some special homemade rub that I have. Uh, its base is basically just salt, pepper, garlic. A little bit of paprika, cumin, celery salt, um, maybe some chili powder. Uh, anyways, I've got it all written down at home, and I'm not sharing that with you. So, anyways, I got that, and then I covered it with some Cosmos Q. Excuse me, I'm burping. Then I covered it with some Cosmos Q cow cover, and I got some really good cover uh, with that, so that's going to put off a really good color. And then on the non-fat side, on the flat side, I put some Cabela steak seasoning on it for a little extra pizzazz. So, uh, with this particular ugly drum smoker, let me show you what we got going on in here. So, as you'll see inside there, there is no heat shield. This is not my one with a heat shield. Um, I need to add a couple of bungs. He said bungs. Add a couple of bungs so that I can put in a heat shield in there. I've got my poncho via fired up and ready to roll. Now, if you noticed in there, there aren't competition lump in there uh, this week. BNB, you're my girl. I love you, but uh, I just grabbed what I could this weekend. Um, and so Kingsford's my side chick today. I got the fire going pretty good, and I'm about to dump it into the Ugly Drum smoker. But with this smoker, like I said, without the heat shield, I've got to flip and spin this brisket every 45 minutes or so. I am going to do it hot and fast. I'm going to try to get it knocked out in five and a half hours. It is a pretty large brisket. By the way, United Supermarkets had briskets on sale for $1.98 a pound. Make America great again. Anyways, um, so we will uh, flip and spin and it, put the thing down, flip it, and reverse it. You know, it's your feminine nip sweating yet, woo woo. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and do that. We're going to spread it. And then I got some beef consomme for when we are ready to wrap. So. Let's get this thing put together. Let's throw the heat on the coals. Let's get that barrel heated up, hotted up, heated, hot, heat, up to temperature, and get this brisket on. So let me show you what I've got my settings at. And I know that this will render an outcome of right around 300 so that one's almost halfway open that one's almost halfway open and that one's all the way open and uh, like my bunghole thermometer it's not a rectal thermometer it's a bunghole thermometer basically the same thing for a UDS we're gonna get that going I'm gonna let that sit for about 30 45 minutes and then I'm gonna come out here and adjust those bottom intakes to uh, slow the raising of that fire down and really get everything where I want it to go. And then I'm going to go ahead and pull the brisket out because I don't want it to be super, 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 super cold when I throw it onto the smoker, but I do like to have it pretty chilled before it goes on there because I think it creates a better smoke ring. Something about chemical effects. I don't know. One of you nerds will know. So I'm going to enjoy some coffee. I'm going to sit inside and watch Gossip Girl. And, uh, wait, what? I'm going to enjoy some coffee. I'm going to sit inside and watch TV like a man because <clears throat> I'm a man. And, uh... Yeah, I'll be back out here. All right, so our first 45 minutes is up. The brisket has been on. Hold up. Yep, I'm recording. Uh, yeah, I'm professional. Uh, the brisket's been on for 45 minutes. We're sitting right about 265, almost 275. So I'm going to crank one of these bad boys open just a little bit more. Man, I keep burping. Golly, it's the Allsup's coffee, I swear. Getting the old Cosmos Q glove on so I can... Get the old Cosmos Q glove on so I can handle the heat of the uh, top. I'm going to pull it off. I don't want you to see this beautiful <coughs> bouncing baby brisket. Bria. Look at that, baby. 
Been on for 45 minutes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spin this one just like that. I'm going to spin it uh, so that the heat is even all the way around it. And man, she is looking uh, beautiful. All right, we're about two hours in, and look at the bark forming on that bad boy. Pretty awesome. All right, so I'm going to spin it again, throw a little more beef broth on it, and we'll probably do this one more time before we wrap it up with some beef consomme, and uh, get this bad boy finished up. Look at the jiggle. Look at the jiggle. I don't know why I like doing that, but I do. Alright, so we're going to get this put back. Uh, get this lid put back on so this fire doesn't get out of control. Throw a little beef broth on it. And wrap it up here in about, uh, I don't know, an hour, hour and a half. So, surprise, surprise, we actually got a call. Uh, it was just about the time that the brisket needed to be taken off and put into uh, some foil and pouched up. Uh, the internal temperature of it, uh, when I finally got back to do it, I, I was in such a hurry because I didn't want to lose the brisket that I didn't get a chance to film it. But the internal temperature is ideally 155 to 165. However, this time uh, it was all the way up to 175 but uh, I really like the extra flavor and moisture that beef consomme adds to it. So I went ahead and wrapped it and threw a can of beef consomme in there. I just like saying beef consomme. It's just so much more fancy than beef broth. And it, I think the complexity of the flavors are as well. But anyways, uh, so it's on there. It's wrapped. It's got the beef consomme. It's going about 250. 250. I'm going to start poking it with the probe, seeing how uh, tender it is and how cooked it is. And uh, I bet all these people, there's a road behind me. I, I know you can hear it. I bet all these people think I am either retarded or insane. Uh, but either way, I'm here to save your lives. Thank you for my service. Uh, we got this going. Uh, it's rolling. It'll be finished here pretty soon. So as soon as I get it out, I will actually remember to uh, let me make sure my radio is not on. I'll actually remember to uh, to uh, film it. That'd be a great idea, right? Bush League. Anyway, so I'll film it and um, uh, get that uh, rolling and uh, get it sliced up. Man, this thing is burning so freaking clean. I'm actually impressed with the Kingsford, um, the bri briquettes with mesquite built in. But here's the thing. This, I had to reload my basket. I almost never have to reload my basket with BNB. Ever. Literally ever. I can actually cook twice on a full basket with BNB because when I'm done with it, I just shut it down, snuff it out, and then uh, fill up a chimney full of charcoal and start going again. So uh, that is one thing I can say BNB um, is way better about. Uh, the Kingsford just burns, it burns clean. Don't get me wrong, Kingsford burns really clean. But it doesn't last very long. That's what she said. Uh, sitting anywhere between 250 and 275. And she is looking good. She's looking real good. Let me take a uh, let me let you take a look at it. Man. Alright, she is looking great. So what I want to do is I want to take my uh, thermometer here. I want to see what temperature she is at internally and how soft she's getting. She's real moist, so she's looking bueno, bueno, bueno. We're going to check the uh, point first and see where it's at. I think if it's at about 150, 155, I'll go ahead and wrap it. All right, so we're sitting about 150 at the point. Let's see where we're at on the flat. I didn't bring my instant read thermometer. Uh, I actually just bought this in town this morning uh, so that I could have one. I was going to go by fuel, but I thought, eh. 
<laughs> Better not. So we're just sitting at about just under 140 on the flat. So actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to spin this one more time and uh, give it another little rotate. Um, I might flip it. I, I hope it's got good flavor. It puts off a really clean smoke um, of just a real thin, blue, clean, steady smoke. Very easy to control, but it it, it burns up pretty quick. So uh, I think I'll stick with my lumps and my lumps, my love. No, sorry, I'll stick with my lumps and uh, some B and B and some chunks of mesquite. <sighs> I'm tired. It's about 1:30 in the afternoon. This has been on for about 4 hours and 15 minutes, roughly. So, 4 hours and 15 minutes, not too bad for a brisket. I think I'll pull it off at the 5 hour mark, let it sit for about 20 minutes, continue to steam and soak up all the delicious juices, and then we'll slice it up. Get off, got it sliced up, tasted a few of them. I would say I probably should have let it go a little bit longer, but everybody was hungry. Um, but I think it's uh, pretty good. Uh, it's not as pull apart tender as what I'm used to, uh, but it is still tender. Uh, you can still cut it with a fork, you can still chew it just fine. It does have a good flavor to it. I did sprinkle a little more rub on it, uh, dipped it in the juices, and set it out for them to start eating. And then I cubed up some. Um, some uh, some of that little candy on the fat side there. So we're gonna do some burn-ins through some of that beef drippings and uh, consomme on top just to sprinkle more of seasonings on it. And I threw it back on the old ugly drone for just a little bit longer. We're gonna take those off and enjoy those and hopefully enjoy the rest of our day. And uh, maybe nobody will get hurt today and nobody will die or get sick and all that good stuff. It's not because I don't wanna work, but I don't want anybody to be sick or hurt. I do enjoy what I do though. Anyways, make sure you like, you subscribe, you share, you comment. Let me know what you want to see cooked next. I'm going to be entering this into our visual, virtual, visual, virtual, uh, Facebook, virtual barbecue competition. I'll throw up some pictures uh, later on in the end of this video. Make sure you, again, like, subscribe, ring the bell so that you know when the new video is coming out. You'll not know when the new video is coming out unless you hit that bell. Thank you so much. I love you. See ya.